Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. How are you Virgo? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Anyways, let's get into your reading. So we're going to be pulling out tarot, then we're going to get into the oracle cards, then quickly spirit's message for you in regards to your love and romance. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, make sure not to forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys can get updated um, videos that are going up so you don't miss that. Okay. We got tons of new spell videos coming through for you guys, so definitely stay tuned. All right, Virgo, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for this month remaining of March in regards to love and romance. Now, your first card here is the Five of Wands. There's an inner struggle going on here, Nine of Pentacles. For some of you guys resisting or you're fed up and tired <laughs> of being single, for others of you, it could represent that you have potentially... A lot of new offers coming in or opportunities, options is what I'm seeing here as I am seeing people trying to fight to get your attention. Keep in mind, be careful not to embrace anyone that is from the past that is coming back around only because you're becoming a hot tamale, if you know what I'm saying. If you don't, I'll get into it in a bit. We have the three of pentacles here. So I do see a third party situation coming through. Tower moment here. Um... I, I see a lot of sneakiness going on right now. Okay, so we have the Empress card. And this is right at the center, uh, Virgo. So this is the energy that you're coming on for the remaining of the month. Beautiful energy, by the way, which I can see why people are backstabbing line, um, trying to come back around. They see you shining. Now you have the Nine of Swords here. Nine of Swords could be anxiety about the past, uh, anxiety about wanting to choose between two people. We have the Temperance card here as well. We have the Prince of Swords, someone stalking you, someone looking at your social medias, someone really being in their feelings about you shining. And we have the Queen of Swords. Wow, okay. Strong energy here for you, Virgos. Okay, so I see a lot of sneakiness going on. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a person that has a lot of options or they may have a lot of exes around them uh, really looking into what they're doing. If they are posting you or you're taking pictures and it's being uploaded on social media, they've definitely noticed you and they are watching your page, uh, being very sneaky about it. And it could be like fake uh, accounts, stuff like that. Now, what we have here is the five of wands with the nine of pentacles. This is the energy of being single, being in power, this is about you being abundant, being protected. Um, with the tower here, I feel that there is going to be news coming to you that is going to be completely like off, like you were not expecting that. That shit was not on your way, radar and it's definitely coming through and you're seeing the true nature of someone specifically that you either trust it or it could be the person that you're dealing with. And it's like, what the hell? It's almost like news is coming to you that was very unexpected, but I feel that there is a need for this. Why? Because you're coming up as the empress here, Virgo. So this is people seeing you as a very, like a lot of people giving you attention. Even if you don't feel that way, everyone is watching what you're doing. People are seeing you very abundant. Uh, they're seeing you very loving nurturing this could be you taking care of your friends putting them you know um basically you're doing good and i see those around you you taking care of them or making it seem like they're doing good because you're doing good however be careful if you're doing too much we have the nine of swords here so there is anxiety there is worries about something that is coming to the light someone's been sneaky or someone has been not being completely honest with you for some of you guys if you've been in a long-term committed relationship it could be the news about them either stepping out of the relationship or that they've been dealing with someone else and they may contact you or reach out to you through some social media so if this is already uh coming out to the open what they're telling you here is there was a need for you to see that um, because I see you guys elevating. I see you guys going like higher than you've ever been before. And with the temperance, there's a need for balance. 
And within that balance, there's a need for you to push out those people that are not positive or that are bringing a lot of confusion and chaos to you. It's almost like they're serving as that distraction and spirit is taking care of you and they're like, nope, Virgo's on a mission and he's he or she will accomplish this shit and I'm going to show them who they're really around so that they can see and better take care of their energy. Do you see what I'm seeing? Do you see? Do you hear what I'm saying? A Virgo. So I feel that whatever news comes to you, take it in a positive, even if it's really negative, meaning if there's rumors about your person dealing with someone else, um, you know, I feel that for some of you guys, those of you guys that are single, it could be news about someone spreading rumors about you. But I feel that the reason why they're doing that is because they want people to either hate you or not have love towards you. That's not going to affect you whatsoever. fucking ever. Why? We have the temperance card balance coming through with the prince of swords and the queen of swords. This is you no longer allowing other people to come into your energy or fuck up your energy. You're like, if I need to cut you out of my life, that is exactly what I'm going to do. You're holding the sword here. No hesitation. No like I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. No, it's like if you are messing up my energy, if you're messing up or distracting from where I'm going, I want nothing to do with you. Do you see what I'm saying? And there's a lot of angels here protecting you. So again, I feel that you're definitely, you're really, you're coming into your own. It's almost like you're coming out of your own shell, Virgo. For those of you guys that are single, I do see a lot of people trying to fight, trying to get your attention. Um, there could be a specific in individual that perhaps could never attain you and started saying certain things that perhaps were not completely true. And you will hear about it and you will know exactly who this is. Now, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, like I said, I feel that there's news coming out in regards to your person entertaining another individual. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, this could be an air sign. It could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra type of energy. Um, and again, like I said, I feel that they're very aware of who you are. Um, and they're definitely watching you. They're definitely like taking notice or eavesdropping on your social medias. Okay, let's see what Spirit's message is here. First, I'm going to pull out the Oracle cards. Let's see. If we can get more clarity in regards to this situation here. If you've been holding on to a relationship, Virgo, for quite a while. And this person is just not changing their fuckboy or fuck girl tendencies. I feel that you're no longer the person that you were two, three years ago. And I feel that you're getting to the point of saying... If you're not going to be my peace, I want nothing to do with you. And this is you taking action, pushing them out of your life completely. This could be you blocking them. This could be you uh, telling them that you want nothing to do with them. And I applaud you, Virgo, because I see you shining, baby. I really do. I think I've not seen you guys, you know, this empowered uh, past few years. And I feel that every reading I've been doing for you lately is like, Spirit is guiding you. They want you to achieve what is meant for you. They want you to be on the path that you're supposed to be on. Now, I know more than you might think. I feel this is you coming into the realization or knowing things that the person has been trying to hide or has been trying to keep from you. I want to tell you so many things. Um, this could be the energy of the person that you're dealing with or that you've been dealing with that once you find this information or once you hear about this, they're going to want to communicate. And I don't know why I'm sensing like you're like, fuck this, I'm done. And you're blocking people left and right. Um, your next card here is I scared myself that day. So I feel that you may be, obviously, if you are invested, emotionally invested in someone and you get that type of news, it's going to shake you. Um, obviously, it's showing a tower moment here. But what they're telling me here is that it's it's necessary. This is something that's been needed um, for you to detach yourself from those that are keeping you down or that are not helping you progress. And it's almost like coming to the realization of 
having almost like an aha moment to say, you know what, I knew it, I kind of felt it, I kind of sensed it, but now that I know there's been some type of clarification here, there's been some type of acknowledgement, and now I know that I need to either move away from this situation or completely cut this person off. Now, when this is done or when you're going through this, we have number 25. This is commitment. This is a relationship that's coming towards you that is going to build on a solid foundation. This is almost like getting to the point that it's not only going to be something long term, but it can potentially turn into a commitment, into a marriage, that type of partnership, that type of union. And this is what spirit is wanting you to attain, is wanting you to have, which is why they're clearing the path, which is why they're showing you things that perhaps you didn't know or things that were happening behind the scenes. So you no longer waste your precious time, Virgo, and keep doing you and keep being in your power in the knowledge that this is what's coming to you. Do you see what I'm saying? So this is a very powerful reading, Virgo, because I feel that you are almost being tested right now in the sense of what you've been wanting for a very long time. Do you really want it? And if you do, if it comes at the expense of walking away from what, where you wanted this to come from, Spirit is telling you it's coming, but not with the people you're dealing with. And if it's time for you to move on, are you willing to do that to attain the happiness that you deserve? All right, my lovelies, I hope this gives you guys some type of insight, some type of clarity. I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.